Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing okay today. My name is Erafink Retro 1980 and welcome back. So, here I have a Sony player. This is an MP3 player and um, I've been wanting to do a review on this for a while now and let me explain. A while ago I wanted to put my music on a MP3 player. I was like, well, okay, should I get an iPod or should I get a different MP3 player? And I was like, well, what does Sony make? So I searched Sony and Sony came up and this is what came up. Also, another thing, I nearly bought a different Sony MP3 player and it was like a tube sort of style, like a peel sort of style. And I liked it, but it didn't display cover art and I just like cover art. So I found this one and it was a bit more expensive and I thought, well, why not? I'll go for it. And I also bought some optional Sony earphones. These are sports earphones. These are the MDR-AS210AP for sports. The features of these are their splash proof, movable loop hanger suspension mobile, hands-free phone calls, tangle-free serrated cable, and also it features a play pause, answer, and end button, which is just cool because you know, if you were using your phone with these, you know, and someone calls you and you can hear it and it's like, well, I don't want to bring on my phone out because then my keys fall out or something else important. So, yeah, these just help, you know, you answer the call straight away and yeah, it's just cool earphones. Also, they feature a L-shaped gold-plated four-pole mini plug, which is cool because then... You know, you don't have to worry about this bit. If this bit wasn't an L and it was just going straight like that, you know, it could it could mess up the wire connection inside. And, you know, it's good because I love L-shaped headphone jacks. They're just, they're just cool. And gold-plated sounds better. So, yes. The other two reasons why I bought these Sony Sports earphones is because it comes with a clip, which means you can tighten them up or tighten them down which is cool. Also, they are approximately 1.2 meters long, which is awesome. So then you have plenty of room to move about when you're doing yoga or running around or any other sport that you love. They're also water resistant and sweat resistant. I will be doing part two of this video because I want to use these earphones and then tell you how my experience was with them. So that will be coming. On the front, you have a nice and clear display of the Sony player itself. In the top left corner, you have the modern Sony Walkman logo and the model number NWE394. And you have eight gigabytes worth of storage, which means you can store up to 1,800 songs, which is just amazing. Think of how many albums that is it's it's just incredible for that low of storage it's just epic on the very bottom you have a display of the sony earphones included and the sony black logo there on the left side you have a clear space with no writing and down at the bottom you do this is the e series digital music player nw e394 on the back, you have the system requirements. So let's take a look at those. You have the OS, so Microsoft Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, SP1 or later, Mac OS X V10.6 or later. So it's nice that they support quite a few common, you know, systems, which is very nice. Microsoft Windows 10 is the current system going right now english a portion of the memory is used for data management functions actual available memory is less than the addressed design and specifications are subject to change without notice okay so let's take this out of its box 
So once out of its original packaging, you can move that aside and it will look like this. Under it is the manual, which is just standard, just normal manual, instruction manual there. And more information. Here you have the charging lead. And inside is the product registration. So, and on here will be the actual player itself. Okay, so here's the important bits. The actual player itself, which we will take a look at in a minute. And the included earphones, which we will take a look at now. Now it is a pretty long wire, so here's the end where you plug the earphones in and from here so where the earphones are um sadly you don't get a clip this is just the standard thing built onto it this isn't the clip you can't move it up you can't move it down so that's a bit sad for people who just want to use these but um these are the included earphones they um they feel okay they're not exactly you know incredible feel you know they do feel a bit they are made of plastic um this is the left one and this is the right one but yes now they do feel nice and comfortable in the ears they don't seem to fall out of my ears um but yeah they do feel nice and comfortable so let's have a look at the player so it is nice metallic red it is not shiny or glossy, it is just metallic. It features nice glitter in the actual paint, which is nice. It is nice material, very nice. Yes, very nice. And it is so small. I mean, look how small that is. And this is just a fake cover. This is just to protect it from now on, but we will take that off in a minute. So let's have a look at the controls. This is the back button, also the home button. This is the option button, also the power button. And this is the up button, the right button, the down button, and the left button. This is the play and pause button. On the side is just plain red. On the back, you actually have a nice matte finish. And as you can see, there is just a faded engraved walkman logo but this is the modern logo down here you have a description digital music player and here is the restart button just in case something goes wrong and also on this side you have just plain red volume up and volume down button and here you have the hold button Okay, so the protective cover's off now and it doesn't leave a mark and it doesn't take too long to take off. It looks nice and clear. So before you power it on, you must make sure this hold button isn't like that. It needs to be down. So then it turns on and we'll just power it off quick. There we go. So once that's down, you need to press this and it comes on you don't need to hold it it just comes on okay so now you're on home and here you have your music option so this is to go right this is to go down this is go left this is go right you know that sort of thing um to actually select what you're on you have to press the play pause button and then this will lead you to your music this is all songs and you can actually select by letter if you wanted. Press back and then you can go to album. And these are all the albums from all different people. And then this is where you can choose your artist. So you go on your artist. And then the album should be there. Then your genre, so abstract or like rock or pop playlist. There's no playlist now, folder, and then that is it. That's all your music. Photos, you can put photos on here if you wanted. These are just sample photos. 
which also if you keep seeing music pop up that's because when you turn it on there's included music which I probably won't keep on now I'll probably get rid of it and then you got the settings by default when you turn the volume up pretty high it will um, say check the volume level which is just a volume level limit to change that you go into settings but you don't go into music settings you go down to common settings then you got unit information and AVLS which is what you want volume limit and you press off if you want that on you go to on but I keep it off because I like I, you know I like to have my volume high I don't I don't really like it when they stop you from having it high uh, language settings you can select all your language settings sleep timer settings which is a good idea and FM radio settings photo settings I probably won't use photo there's really no point so in the music settings you have play mode so you have normal repeat shuffle shuffle and repeat and repeat one song which is a cool idea I probably would use that here's the bass boost which you can boost the bass I'll have it off for now I'll turn it on when I need it uh, here's the equalizer you got none heavy pop jazz unique custom custom so this is where you can select your own to go back you just press back and yeah so that's the music settings so that's all the settings in playlists you got no playlist right now but yeah so let's go to fm see what that's about and here you can select your fm or whatever you need and then you can select a preset if you need or want to so we go back i probably won't use the fm i don't really know and i probably won't use photos and i might even get rid of the included songs because i do really want the storage on here so and i don't want it being confused so go to song playback screen that's to like go back to your your songs and this is where i want to talk about the album art now i wanted this one specifically because it has album art if you remember me saying the pill sort of style didn't have an album art it just had a really thin screen i don't know how anyone's supposed to see that but on this it's nice and small and it's really nice and clear like it's you can actually see what the writing says down on the bottom you have the timer and here you have the song that's playing and here you have the all songs which basically means what this song selected from i selected this from all songs so if i selected an album it would say the album down there and the song up there which is just a great idea and you can also see the album there so you can also see what the album is and who it's by okay so the sound now the sound it it really depends on what what earphones you're using now these they sound perfectly fine if you want the music there um unfortunately the bass on these earphones yeah it it's okay um and it don't particularly sound any better with the bass boost but it really depends on what you're using you know um i bought these because i knew these weren't going to sound as good but to be honest with you they sound fine and um you know any person that doesn't want to spend any more money on earphones that's okay if you just like music being there then that's fine you can use these but i'm probably not going to use them um for one i really do like sports earphones because they stay on your ears and these they stay in your ear but they don't like you know if you go jogging with it it's gonna be a struggle so yeah um but it is clear sound um this player is is just nice sound it sounds good i think in my opinion the sound is brilliant um but yes and now i'm going to show you how to add music and delete music okay so once connected to the pc via the usb cable you will get a spinning blue light on the screen it says connected usb the player cannot be operated so this means you can't like touch any of these controls or play around with it while it's being connected 
if you want to use it you have to unplug also up there it says it is charging now it says do not disconnect so it's just warning you do not disconnect until you're finished with what you are doing so once the sony walkman is connected to the pc via the usb cable you must go down to your file software and down on the left a text will show up saying walkman you must click on that and it will bring up files such as dcim which just includes nothing and for mac which is just mac sadly i can't show as i haven't got mac but i have got windows you got windows there you got the help guide you got music and this is where all your music is and then picture sample photos and these are just the sample photos default capability and dev l c o n dot f i l and d e v l o g o dot f i l and that is a f i l file um, and that default capability one is an xml document the rest is just a file folder um, but the main one that you have to focus on is the music one if you want your music so let's get straight to that okay so here i have an album arcadia so read the rose i only have one song in the album and this is because i'm going to use it as an example so if i have an album with one song in it how do i delete it now you can click on it with your left button on your mouse and then right click on the mouse and then press delete down here and it will come up do you want to permanently delete this yes then if we go back the album is still there so now I can click it then right click press delete and delete that okay so how do I delete an album with the uh, full songs well so this has 11 songs this album this is Duran Duran as lights go down live it has 11 songs I want to delete the whole album so you can highlight like that or if you go back you can actually delete the whole album so click on it then right click go down press delete are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder yes and that is the album gone so that's how you delete songs and albums how do you add albums artists and songs you must go to the website address that i will link in the description below and if you don't want to go to the link below you can type in the link which is up there but you must follow the link once brought to this page which is called the music center for pc you must hit the download button at the bottom once pressed it will go to another page where you can press download i won't download now because i've already downloaded it but once downloaded you will get a downloaded file you open it up and you install all of it and then you open it up it starts up automatically you have your transfer and manage up here and my library which is newly added not transferred songs albums artists frequently played recently played playlist import cd so you can actually import a cd so if you put a cd in the you know if you're using a laptop you can put it in the cd drive or a pc you can put it in a cd drive it will automatically import from there and you can actually put it on your um walkman which is i just think is a cool idea i actually think that it's really good um but now you want to transfer your music so so under where it says transfer manage you click this and it will be gold and it will be your model number and then series you click that and it says newly added if you haven't added anything it won't come up now i have two albums here i have duran duran as the lights go down live and so read the rose i currently only have one song in here so we're gonna do this one song which is election day make sure this is lit up then before you press the transfer device you need to go to device transfer settings now the reason for this is because the device has a cover art option 
And that's the re main reason why I bought it, because I like the cover art on it. Now, if you've already transferred device, you may notice that it's just blank and it has the modern Walkman logo over it. It needs to be converted to a different file in order to have the cover art displayed. So if yours is already lit up here and it says normal transfer, transfer is made in the, in the original file format recommended. Files, f files that cannot be played with the device will be converted to AAC format and then transferred. It doesn't mention anything to do with cover art. Now, it doesn't matter because it still does change the cover art. So if we go down to here, you must press it. Auto assign transfer. The file will always be converted to AAC format and then transferred. Make sure that is lit up but down here you've got post transfer operations and this is ticked it says after transfers made delete file converted during transfer although removing the check mark will reduce transfer time by transferring a converted file the next time the computer will require larger hard disk ca capacity now if this is ticked it will remove the original format um, you can do this if you want but I don't mind so this is your decision here then you press OK once that is all done. Then you press transfer to device. And down here you have a progress bar, zero out of one, which means I am currently zero out of one songs. And now, because that was only one song, it has took like four seconds. Transfer complete, the device will be disconnected. Now once disconnected, you can disconnect the device. Okay, so let's make sure that um, song is on here. So it was Arcadia Election Day. Okay, there you go, it's already on here, so if we go to all music, so here's music, so album, we got all the albums, so So Red the Rose is the album, election day, there we go, So Red the Rose, so what about if I want to go into artist, so if we go to artist, Arcadia, all Arcadia, so that's just election day, that's the only song that's from Arcadia, so with the rose, election day. There you go. We've gone through the album. There it is with the nice cover art. And that's in order to get the cover art. So you must use Music Center to get the cover art. If you don't mind no cover art, then that's fine. You can do it as normal. The other thing that I really do like is that you can go to artist, then go to the artist you want. Then you can go all, which means all of the songs that they have done and you could just select an album which is just cool and i mean look at that album cover it just looks amazing anyways that is all i have time for today this has been the sony mp3 player and i hope this video helped with setting up your music and transferring and deleting and i also hope you like the look of this player but anyways this has been part one part two will be the unboxing of these awesome looking Sony sports earphones and I'll also be comparing them to other earphones so yes I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye